Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about arteries. Arteries are blood vessels which carry blood away from the heart and they carry oxygenated blood. In this video I just want to talk about the main functions of the arteries and also we'll look at its structure and I've included some diagrams and some notes to help you understand the structure and function of arteries. So as I've just mentioned they carry blood away from the heart and they carry oxygenated blood. This is true for most cases except for the pulmonary and umbilical arteries where they carry deoxygenated blood. But in most cases arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart. So they carry blood at a higher pressure compared to the other blood vessels and they don't have valves. So arteries form part of the circulatory system. The blood volume which is contained in the arteries is known as stressed volume. The blood in the arteries has the highest pressure compared to the other circulatory vessels and the pressure inside the arteries varies according to the cardiac cycle. So if you imagine when the heart contracts, this is when the pressure is going to be high in the arteries and when the heart relaxes, that's when the pressure will be lower. And this difference between these two pressures is what produces the pulse. So if you're palpating or trying to feel the pulse, the common place is when you supinate your hand or you turn it upwards facing the sky the left side of the wrist if you press gently with a finger you should be able to feel the pulse from the radial artery now let's look at the structure of uh, arteries so I've included this diagram here which shows you the cross section this central part is called the lumen which is where the blood flows through and we have three separate layers we have the tunica externa which is this region here and this is consisting of connective connective tissue or collagen fibers we have tunica media which is this region here which consists of smooth muscle and elastic tissue and we have this region here called tunica tunica intima which consists of endothelial cells and this is what's in contact with the blood the important thing to remember for arteries is that they have a very thick wall in comparison to the other blood vessels like veins and uh, even capillaries because they carry blood at such high pressure it must have a strong muscular wall to withstand to withstand this high pressure so that's the reason that arteries have a very thick muscular wall and these are the three main layers that you need to know tunica externa tunica media and tunica intima